the reference uh, is Matthew 2, 20, but reading from 19. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeareth in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and go into the land of Israel, for they are dead which sought the young child's life. Now, just uh, getting back to the beginning of some symbology here, all Masonic and where it started from. Um, <laughs> there's some really... These were sent to us by Ira, the, the link here. Um, the obelisk, as you know, is, the, is male, and above is the triangle of the sacred feminine in the heavenlies. And uh, they're saying, as above, so below. Of course, the uh, menorah there, it's all related to the ladies and the Star of David. The Freemason obsession with the pyramid means they must misdirect you by all media from being made aware the Great Pyramid is the altar to the Lord Yah and is therefore rejected by all churches, none of which will address Isaiah 19, 19 and 20 and Isaiah 63, verse 3. Now, I'll explain the evils of Bathsheba and Solomon later in this series, but first address the reason Yah is the capstone and the four corners are female, representing the four women in Yahweh's life and how they reveal genetically a mathematically profound formula that no man could have imagined, therefore it must be divine. Now because the base was laid out on the 100 years number, when we divide it by 100, we have a corner stone base with a square of 91.3106 pyramid inches. So that squared uh, gives a surface area of 57.9 square feet, and that, as we showed before, means to be rejected in Greek. There it is, to be refused. There's the calculation there. That's the, uh, the square here and the diagonal. And then this distance here, just remember these because they come up in a later slide and we're thinking, where did that come from? This measurement from here to here. These stones are, are actually uh, slanting. There it is there. It's a side view showing how they stacked in steps 202 layers to the very top to support the capstone, which is 30.50 British feet high. Now, these numbers are significant. This is the footprint that we showed you, and it means to be rejected. Now, 159 was that number I showed you, that measurement from here to here, and it means thief, to secretly carry away or to steal. Now, the 4030 means strong all around, the 2996 means building, and the 2696, this distance here, which is the height of each one of them, is uh, to seal closely. Seal. There they are, reiterating. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> there were 202 layers set on the foundation line, all four corners added totaling 808 cornerstones. Now 808 from the same as 784 means a ruined foundation or foundation. And there it is. Here, here are the cornerstones all stacked to support the 30.5 feet high capstone. 30.5, 3050 in the Isyar. Now, indeed, the foundation was ruined when it was stripped by merchants selling the pure alabaster for construction materials, and that's why it became a ruined foundation. We see that by sheer logic, the corners must be precisely based on the width of the base. The, the base of the pyramid itself is 9,131.06 divided by 100, which is the base of the um, cornerstones, square. Therefore, the Four sides, each one of the cornerstones is a solar year of 365.2424, sitting on the corners of the base of 36524.24. You're all familiar with the, these numbers. Again, 202 per, per corner and uh, 808 in to total. Now, the next drawing, the cornerstones are stacked upwards toward the capstone, and the smaller squares represent the 144,000 saints stones. The stones on the lower part are as is, set back. 
the saint's stones on the right are then moved outward to align with the corner line. This is, this is where they are now. They're, they're set back there. They're still attached to the hall. This is the body of the pyramid, these inferior yellow limestones. These are the pure white alabaster stones. They must come out of the hall. And when they do, they lock in perfect symmetry and line with the four cornerstones, leaving a gap between uh, literally ourselves and the um, defiled body of the churches, which is Lucifer, this here being without garment. Quoting from Revelation 18.4, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. That's talking of the great hall. That's the church of Rome and all of her offspring. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. That's reference to the 144,000 saints zone. And the paps is um, the breast. It's like a breastplate. Again, reiterating, the 144 move forward to line up with the four cornerstones, leaving behind the great whore. There they are on both sides. All the yellow are the poor quality limestones of Israel, they being the Western nations, controlled and dominated by Lucifer. Then once all 144,000 saints have come out of the hall, the Lord is seen coming from the West, November 11th, 2010. That's the date we arrived in Fiji, welcomed by the people, and the news is spreading like a fire throughout the army. And, of course, uh, that would be the reason why everybody's been seeing the number 1111, November the 11th, 2010. So this, everything to do with the cornerstones is a direct reference to Isaiah 6303, which you will see in a minute. I have trodden the winepress alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I will tread them in mine anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all of my raiment. These are the uh, yellow limestones of the churches of Lucifer and the cornerstones of the alabaster. Now, to explain, this is really amazing. You're familiar with the diagrams of the Great Pyramid. Let's see if I can explain it here for you. We've got the King's Chamber floor. At the level of the King's Chamber floor, that's the reference that I just spoke about to Isaiah 6303. That's how many cornerstones the King's Chamber floor comes through. So here are the cornerstones in the white, the 63.03 cornerstones at that height. And that goes back, of course, to Isaiah 6303 that we just read. 